I was outside hanging my delicates when it hit me. I remembered a comment that I got on a video earlier. I bet you can't finish a Pokemon binder in one minute. One minute? Really? One minute? One minute? One minute? Challenge accepted. Here's the thing. I finished Pokemon sets in 48 hours, in 24 hours, and even in one hour. But one minute? I mean, that's almost impa. Hold up. Jonah never mentioned that I had to start a set from scratch. At TC's Rockets, I asked to see a vintage binder because all I need are two more cards to finish a set that I was so close to completing in a previous video. Jungle from 1999. We've got a timer ready. Here we go in three, two, one, go. And boom, there we go. In just 19 seconds, we finished the entire set. Yes, Done. No problem, man. Yeah, even the guy behind the counter was like, nah, dude, that ain't it. Okay, I know, I know, that doesn't count, right? We gotta complete a whole set from scratch, but to do that in less than a minute, I mean, that's nearly impossible. You got an idea. Some sets of Pokemon are big, and some are not so big. Done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Let's be real. 18 cards, Detective Pikachu, and a giant binder like this. That doesn't count. That's too small. And you know what my answer is to that? I've heard that before. Oh. But what if I could tell you that I can complete an entire binder, all pages, with a collection I have in less than one minute? That would almost be impossible. You know where this is going? Oh. I know what to do. We got it. We got it. There we go. Bruh. I know. I know what you're thinking. Do you like Miltank? I like Miltank. You do like Miltank? I like Miltank. I know, I know. Even though this is an amazing collection of Miltanks and we did fill the entire binder and there wasn't even enough room for all of my Miltanks. Um, that's not gonna cut it. We need to finish a complete set from scratch with a decent number of cards in them, right? Like over hundred. Now imagine if I had to actually go and buy these things in less than a minute. That would be absolutely in. We have a master set of XY evolutions, 113 cards in total, and the reverses are in here as well. Very nice. Step one, make sure we have everything. And it looks like we does, and the hollows are separated in the back. And the Charizard, it's looking real good. Step two, take all the cards out of the binder. Oh my gosh, they're a little sticky. That's kinda gross. All right, this is gonna take a minute. Yay, we did it. That took way too long. Bruh. Step three, crack knuckles. Oh no. Step four, let's give it a trial run. cards. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to look at the replay. Oh, terrible form from Pat, especially on the top row there. Oh, and look at that absolutely wasteful flipping. He doesn't even know what card goes where. Is this man even trying? That is a shame, folks. And look at how confused he is. All right, second try. Here we go. Twenty-seven cards in sixty seconds. That's about one card every two seconds. And for a set with a hundred and thirteen cards, that's not gonna cut it. I need to be more efficient. And then it hits me. Boom! Smaller sleeves. The ETB sleeves were pretty thick, and by slimming them down, I can slot in just as easy as Kim Kardashian's DMs. Then I spend the next twenty minutes resleeving all of these cards. Is this really my life right now? The last card. Here comes Team Rocket Secret Rare. I hope to see you at the end of this challenge because that's the last card. Oh, but I have to clean up first because you know you gotta keep your area nice and it's the right thing to do and I don't want to get in trouble. New sleeves, new round, and go.
27 cards, again, that literally changed nothing. Boom, a Vault X binder. This is a side loader, so I don't have to worry about the top side sleeve delay of doom. And these are the binders I'm used to anyway. I crack it open, get the binder ready like it's a brand new leather baseball mitt, and go. And the timer didn't even start. Let's do that again. 38 cards, that is a 40% increase. The sleeve to slide time ratio is definitely a lot better now, but Chuck, we're still way off our mark. Who's Chuck? Then I think for a little bit, and I know exactly what I need to do. Practice. Not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. Yes, Allen Iverson, practice, because practice makes progress. Cue the training montage. It's time. I set up a few piles of nine just to see how much speed I've gained after training. And go! <laughs> 45 cards? That's a massive improvement, but I still need to basically double my time and more to get even close. And then all of a sudden, like a bolt of lightning, a bolt of lightning. I get another idea. Look, every page has a front side and a back side. What if? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this Venusaur, and then the Charizard here, we're back to, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> BRB. This is a vault -X ring binder, and these are clear side-loading pages. And okay, the penny sleeves I have are a bit too big for these pages, and I'm not about to put in my cards nakey nakey. And right when I'm about to give up, what if we put the two cards in back to back in a perfect flit sleeve like this? Yo, that oh, I like this. This may actually work. With 113 cards, I would only need 57 sleeves with this strategy, and if I put in one sleeve per one second, I'll finish in time. I just need to complete six and a half pages in 60 seconds. We can do this. Here we are. After all the training, after all the breath work, all the optimizations we've done, we landed on this setup right here with the double insert, side insert sleeves, the cards back to back, basically cuts my time in half, but can I still get it? I don't know. We're just gonna do one take. We're gonna see what happens. So right now, you should see all the camera angles, one shot, continuous, no cuts, whatever happens, happens. One shot. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Here we go. Just gonna get that first move in there. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Needle King! I'm gonna choke! I'm choking! Oh, come on. I failed. I couldn't do it. Uh, Jonah, you got me on that one. But hey, pick the next challenge you want to see me go for. Cheers.